Hey everyone, I'm John Sisson and today we're taking a look at the Sigma 50mm f1.4 Art Series lens. The Sigma 50mm f1.4 belongs to the Art Series line and is targeted towards high-end enthusiasts and professional photographers. In some cases, it's also a cheaper alternative towards the higher-end brands like Canon, Nikon and Sony. Now today I'm also using it on the Sony a7R Mark II via the MC11 adapter which is what you're going to be needing if you have this lens in the EF mount which is Canon. Now I'll also be taking a look at its design, its features, autofocusing speed on the a7R Mark II and of course most importantly its image quality so stay tuned. The lens has a black finish with some specifications of it on the top. You also have the art series badge on the side. A bit further down is a focus switch to switch between autofocus and manual focus. There's also a focus distance scale on the top and a rubber focus ring towards the front of the lens. It accepts 77mm filters and comes with a pedal type lens hood. It also has a metal mount but unfortunately no weather seals with this lens. Since I'm using this on an E-mount camera, you will need to use a Sigma MC11 adapter with it. Now the lens weighs approximately 815 grams, adding in the weight of the adapter it's about 120, so that equates to 935 grams. So in essence it's going to be a bit front heavy so I do recommend people using your left hand to support the weight of the lens and of course using your right hand to take the photo. Now in terms of its design, I love the look of it. I've always loved the look of the Art Series, Contemporary and Sport Series lenses. They always feel very premium in, uh, premium in the hand, but of course my down, the downside to using this is that it's not completely weather sealed. In fact, there's no weather sealing at all on the mount of the lens, uh, given the amount of the money. I would have hoped that there would be, but if you're using it on an E-mount body, there really isn't any point because the adapter itself is not weather sealed. The lens does not increase in size when using manual focus, which is great, and the focus ring is smooth with just the right amount of resistance. The lens can focus as close as 40 centimeters, and it doesn't use a fly-by wire system, so for those people who hate using it, you'd feel right at home with this lens. The lens has a hypersonic motor, otherwise known as HSM, and is similar to Sony's SSM motor for quick and quiet focusing. Now I have this on my Sony a7R Mark II and it was reasonably quick. It wasn't as quick as say a Sony native lens but it got the job done. I was shooting in a few settings from wide, center, flexible spot and didn't encounter any issues. When it came down to using direct manual focus it worked perfectly where I was able to autofocus on a subject and use manual focus to tweak if needed. Continuous autofocus was a bit of a hit and miss at times. For video, it was okay and you can actually feel the motors adjust when you change from subject to subject. For stills, it tracked for a couple of seconds and then just stopped altogether, so it was clearly struggling. When I did this with the a7S II, it wasn't working as well for both stills and videos. The focus was slower and in some cases, it was way off mark. I have tried this with the Sony a6500 and it worked the best out of all the E-mount cameras that I've used so far. Now I've got the Sigma 50mm f1.4 art attached to the Sony a7R Mark II and this is just a little focusing test to see how well the camera can keep up with my movements as I move toward the camera and as I walk backward. Now I do have continuous autofocus on and I'm hoping this is going to keep up with my movements so let's just do it one more time and done. An interesting note to mention is when I used it with the Sony a7R Mark II and shot at apertures of f11 or f16, it made a weird autofocusing sound. Although it was still perfectly fine, it didn't happen when I used an aperture of f1.4. Now one of the great things about using Sigma lenses via the MC11 adapter is that you still get Sony features like face detection and eye autofocus, which is great for Sony E-mount users who rely on these sort of features. When it comes down to image quality, this is where the lens actually shines. In terms of sharpness, I would say it's just as good, if not better than the Zeiss 50mm f1.4 FE. Distortion and chromatic aberration is well controlled. I didn't notice any vignetting with this lens either. 
out of focus blur is something to be desired where I would see the Zeiss producing a smoother and, in my opinion, a more appealing background blur. The f1.4 aperture of course made shooting easier when it came down to low light situations and creating background blur from the subject in focus. It produced good colours and overall I was happy with what this lens delivered. Now the Sigma 50mm f1.4 art is an outstanding lens that delivers some amazing images and I feel like if you get this lens you'll be pleased with the results that this lens has to offer. Now. I love the build, I love the handling of the lens, it's just a bit unfortunate that you don't get weather seals for the amount of money that you're paying, so I don't recommend shooting with this lens in harsh environments. Now if you're a Sony E-mount shooter, I do recommend getting this in the Sony A-mount and then adapting it with the LAEA3 or LAEA4 adapters as I feel the focusing is a bit faster and a bit more accurate. Now if you're a Canon shooter, mainly moving to the Sony camp, I do recommend just going with the MC11 adapter just because it's the cheaper alternative instead of buying another lens and another adapter to mount on this body. Either way, you're going to get great results. I feel like this is very good value for money, especially when you compare it to the Sony 50mm f1.4 FE. And if uh, image quality is your main concern, I don't think you'll go wrong with this lens. Now, if you have any more questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you already own one, let me know what you think of it. And remember to like this video if you found it helpful. And subscribe to my channel for more Sigma reviews and tutorials. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram for more sample photos and photo updates. And don't forget to take a look in the description below for more information about this lens as well as purchasing links. Until then, happy shooting and thanks for watching. Obviously, I don't see people using the camera like this so much, but you know how it is, you know? I am itchy on my feet. What do I, what do I, what else do I say? I really do, really do. Good, no one saw that. Again. Hello? Hello?